welcome back to today's new notebook. Many and local area organizations are teaming up to host Red Ribbon Week. In just a few weeks, I have Jonathan Edwards and Christian Pierce, and they are here to tell us how you can participate. Y'all are with the City of Lubbock Health Department, correct? Yes. So thank you so much for joining me today. So tell us about Red Red Ribbon Week. I have to be very careful because I'm going to start <laughs> sounding like uh, Elmer Fudd over here. Right. Um, so tell us about what it is and how we can help. So it, it started many years ago and basically it grew out of a, a DEA agent, uh, lost his life, you know, uh, served on country and his wife kind of built up this opportunity for drug awareness and we've kind of, you know, over the years we've kind of taken and ran with it. And so the last few years uh, we've been doing events in the schools trying to create more awareness during Red Ribbon Week because it's something schools do all the time, but sometimes we can lose track of, uh, you know, what it's really focused on or even how do we get kids to be involved in it not just like recipients of you know I got a new red ribbon this week but like how do I engage kids in this conversation and it, it red ribbon week is you want to bring awareness to substance abuse and to educate people on alternative activities um, to combat that um, so tell us um, during this whole week you also have a contest going on. So can you all tell us a little bit about the contest you have going on as well? Awesome. So we've been we've been doing this contest uh, for the last couple years, but we're changing it up a little uh, this time. So uh, students, they can uh, submit art up to the 13th of October. And usually we've done just like paintings or drawings. This year they can do it through different mediums. So, you know, if you like sculpting, working with charcoal, you can use... Uh, you can use those other mediums now to submit. Mm -hmm. And so basically uh, students can submit their artwork and then we'll actually first have it displayed at Source to Solution, which is a conference on uh, drug education and drug prevention that'll be on October 25th. So that'll be the first moment they're displayed. And then they'll also be displayed the following week on the first Friday Night Art Trail, which I think is a great opportunity for kids to jump into this conversation on drug misuse, but also they get to kind of express themselves through art. And what, is there a certain theme that that artwork needs to be? Uh, just um, whatever they want to uh, uh, kind of bring themselves into that conversation. So it could be even maybe sometimes their experiences or even just positive messages because, you know, when it's displayed at the first Friday Night Art Trail, it'll be people from all over the community that'll mm -hmm. get to kind of hear that message from the way they communicate it through their art. All right, and uh, we hope everyone um, looks. We have, uh, I'm trying to think of my process. We have lots of information on um, how schools can participate for this Red Ribbon a Week. Um, all these groups you see there on your screen are coming together again. It's October 23rd through 31st, and it's to bring awareness about substance use and educate people on alternative activities. And if you want to be a part of this and participate in this, we'll have this information, including the, uh, the rules and eligibility and all the all that information on the artwork contest on our website, kcbd.com in the community news section. Stay with us, we have more news coming up in the second half hour of KCBD News Channel 11 at noon right after this break.